Elementor not loading on WordPress can drive you mad, but here's how to fix it. Hey, it's Oz here from thecallmehost.com where I talk about the tools that I'm using to generate income online as a solopreneur. And in this channel, I share tutorials as well as all the great tools that I keep finding. So if this is helpful to you in any way, please subscribe and I'll keep you posted. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about Elementor not loading on WordPress. It's a common issue and there are different reasons why this may be happening. I'm going to go over the four most common reasons and hopefully this will solve your problem. Okay, so here we are on my test blog and the first thing we need to check if Elementor is not loading on our WordPress website is that we are running the latest version of PHP. This is something that often people forget, including myself, when you get that notification, that PHP upgrade notice, I usually leave it uh, for as long as I can until I have some time. But who has time? So this is one thing that can cause that issue when your PHP version is older than it should be and your Elementor plugin is up to date. That can cause some conflicts. So to update your PHP version, you'll need to do that at your host, but you can actually check it using Elementor. So let's do that right now. Let's go to the dashboard. Let's go to Elementor and system info. And here you can see that the PHP version is 735. Now to figure out whether this is the latest PHP version, all you need to do is a quick Google search to find out the current PHP version. Now, while you're here, you may also want to check your memory limit. You do that by scrolling down here to memory limit. You'll see that mine's 256 meg. It should be anything above 64 meg. If it isn't, then that could be your issue. You can always go to your host and ask them how to adjust or increase your memory limit, but you'll normally do that in your WP config file. So if you need help updating your PHP version, then I'll put a link in the description to another video where I'll show you exactly how to do that. Okay, so this is one of the four most common reasons why Elementor will not load on your WordPress site. Okay, so now let's look at number two. Number two invariably is plugins, okay? Sometimes Elementor won't load on your WordPress website because of a plugin conflict. Now, this is a test website and I only have a few plugins here, but if you happen to have a lot, then the first thing to do is update all your plugins. You can see that I have a few plugins here. The majority of them are actually not up to date, uh, but the first thing to do is update all your plugins. Once you do that, if Elementor still won't load on your WordPress site, then click here and then unselect Elementor and Elementor Pro if you're using that. And then from the bulk actions menu, select deactivate and hit apply. What you want to do is deactivate all your plugins except your Elementor plugin, and then check whether Elementor loads on your WordPress site. If it does, then that means that one plugin or more is causing the issue. All you do in this case is you activate all your plugins one by one and each time you activate one plugin you test whether Elementor is still working until you find the culprit okay now that's the second most common cause for Elementor not loading so let's look at the third one and for this one I need to activate all my plugins now you'll notice here this little icon I'm using a cache plugin and the cache plugin happens to be site speed. I like that cache plugin. I use it on some websites. Now you may be using a cache plugin. A lot of people do. And this can interfere with Elementor when you're developing. As a rule, when you're developing, and by that I mean playing around on your website, for example, setting up a landing page, building it with Elementor, you shouldn't have cache turned on. Cache is really for the users visiting your website having a better experience by being able to load resources faster, okay? Um, this works against you when you're in the back end, in the admin area, and you're actually developing. So you don't want to see copies or older copies of the page 
which is what caching is going to do for you, you want to turn caching off so that you are looking at the current page, at the current version of the page. Now, if you're using a cache plugin that has the ability to purge all, like in this instance, I recommend that you first purge all and then check. Check to see whether Elementor is working. Then the next thing to do is disable your cache plugin and then test Elementor to see if you can load it. And a lot of times you'll find that that is the issue. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that browsers also sometimes cache depending on your settings. So for example, I usually work on Google Chrome and I sometimes have caching issues even if I clear all the cache on my site. So what I always do is I go to Firefox and I open up a private window and I look at the website there. And that way I'm bypassing the any caching issues from the browser. So I also recommend that you do that just to check if your website is working properly. And if you're having issues that way, you can always use your mobile phone to test whether the website is actually loading. Okay, so that's three of the four most common reasons why Elementor won't load on WordPress. And now let's look at the fourth one. For this one, we're gonna go into the Elementor settings, okay? And here, we're gonna to go to Advanced, and where you see Switch Editor Loader Method, we're gonna click Enable. Now this seems to cure the issue for a lot of websites that use WooCommerce. So those are four things to try if Elementor is not loading on your website. Leave me a comment if you fix it and also if you don't fix it and let's see if we can get to the bottom of it. For more Elementor tutorials, please click the playlist on the screen and I'll see you in the next video.